The chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, Wafula Chebukati, last Monday declared William Samoy Ruto as the president-elect of Kenya after beating Raila Odinga into second place for the fifth time of asking. Hereby declares that Ruto William Samoy. As expected, Raila Odinga and his Azimiela Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party team rejected the presidential election results and vowed to challenge IEBC's declaration in the Supreme Court. Victory yes. of the people of Kenya yes. will not be stolen away. The truth is going to be known because we already know it ourselves and we are going to show it wide and open starting tomorrow. To go to our Article 140 of the Kenyan Constitution provides seven days for one to challenge the election result in the Supreme Court after the declaration of presidential election outcome and Odinga's deadline is due tomorrow. Unfazed by this, the president-elect held a meeting with Kenya Kwanza leaders this week where he said his legal team was ready to face Raila Odinga in court. If there will be court processes, we will uh, engage in those and make sure that we because we are Democrats and we believe in the rule of law. If indeed Raila Odinga files a petition in the Supreme Court tomorrow, Article 140 Clause 2 of the Kenyan Constitution requires the Supreme Court to handle the matter within 14 days. During this time, incumbent President Uhuru Kenyatta acts as a caretaker head of state. Daniel Kibet, NTV. I